Hey guys, so um, I have quite a few books to talk to you about today, um, but let's start with The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. I wasn't going to buy this book, and I didn't. Um, she's actually giving it away for free online, so I spent about two hours reading it last week, and um, here's what I have to say about it. So the Short Second Life of Brie Tanner takes place during Eclipse, which is the third book in the Twilight series, which the movie's coming out sometime at the end of this month, I think. So Brie Tanner comes into Eclipse for about five to seven pages towards the really very end of the book. In Eclipse, um, that red-haired chick is after Bella, and so she creates an army of vampires from Seattle to come and, like, kill her. And one of these vampires is Brie Tanner, hence the short second life of Brie Tanner. And Brie meets... Bella, sort of, um, for just these few short pages, and they kind of stare at each other and have this moment where Bella's wondering what it's like to be a vampire, and Bree's wondering what this human girl is doing with all these vampires, and she drinks human blood, Bree does, so she's a little, um, so she has, like, those red eyes, and she's really intense, and she really wants to kill Bella, um, go at it, I say. Anyway, Bree ends up dying at the hand of the Vulturi, but um, there's sort of an interesting little novella that Stephanie Meyer writes around Bree Tanner, and it's actually pretty good. I mean, the writing's still a little off. I mean, Stephanie Meyer was never that strong of a writer, um, but um, the character of Brie Tanner is much more interesting than Bella Swan, um, and it's from a first-person perspective, so um, I liked it, and it was easy to get through, and um, if you like the Twilight series, I'll leave a link in the doobly-doo, and you can um, read it if you choose to. The next book I read, and I just finished it yesterday, I finished it in about three days, was Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, and I've been dying to read this book forever. I just have never had time, and I just started summer vacation, so um, I read this really quickly. It's an amazing, amazing book. Ellie Youngblood's our main character, and she's about to turn 16, and in this new futuristic world, um, when you turn 16, you undergo an operation, and in the operation, you become pretty, and when you turn pretty, you get kind of thrown into this high-tech paradise where all your only, like, job is to have fun and um, have a good time and um, they do this so that everyone is sort of equal at least that's what they tell everyone you know if everyone looks the same then no one can fight about anything um, but Tally meets a new friend named Shay and Shay doesn't want to be a pretty when Shay runs away to go live in this place called the smoke which is outside of the city uh, the specials who are like the cops and the evil people in the world um, tell Tally that she can either go find her friend and bring her back and betray her and make her pretty or Tally will never become pretty and she'll always be ugly and in this world you're sort of told your entire life that you're ugly and you know you're only pretty with this sort of thing they call it biology and um, but something else is going on with the pretties and um, it's not all happiness it seems so Tally sort of has to make a choice. Any of you guys on the channel want to pick up uglies and read pretties specials and extras and then we can do a joint review of the last three which I think would be fun so if anyone wants to do that with me let me know. And after three years I finally finished Philip Pullman's um, His Dark Materials series. I don't know why it took me so long. I finished the first two really, really quickly, The Golden Compass and The Subtle Knife, and then I just forgot about it, and it makes me sad. But anyway, I just finished The Amber Spy Glass, and it was awesome, and it was a great ending. Basically, um, it's an alternate world, and there's different worlds, parallel worlds and universes that connect our world, and Lyra, our main character, lives in one of these worlds, and she has, like, a daemon, and her daemon is, like, a part of her soul, but it's an animal, and, um, and that's her world, and the first one, she goes into a different world, and the second one, she meets his boy Will, and then in the third one, her and Will have to sort of figure out what's going on, because she's sort of, like, this chosen person, and she's sort of... A good thing or a bad thing, you kind of have to decide. But, um, good series. Um, took me a while to get through the third book, especially the one that I just finished reading. Oh, um, it's not really long exactly, but the beginning's really slow, and the middle it sort of picks up, and then it gets sort of slow again, and then the ending's awesome. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? We're done. Okay, shut up, Holly. Say goodbye. Bye, guys.